Hi ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Toby here from Racing Games and it's nearly time to say farewell to Forza Horizon 4. Not before we quickly share our favourite moments with you. So, let's jump right in. As we prepare for the Forza Horizon 5 release, it's time to look back at its predecessor and reflect upon the great gameplay we've enjoyed. So, here are our three favourite moments from Forza Horizon 4 Festival in Great Britain. First up, we've got the Forza Horizon 4 introduction and of course, the now iconic McLaren Senna. Do you remember loading up Forza Horizon 4 for the first time? The game kicks off with a little cutscene showing off-road cars leaping through the Lake District area. We're shown the seasons changing and notified that it's autumn. We're in the McLaren Senna, the supercar of the moment. You round a corner, clear a crest and then the beautiful Derwent Water area is revealed. But you don't have time to stare as you're given control of the car almost immediately. It's a brief blast in the center before the game switches to winter and introduces the off-road aspect of the game. However, for us, it's the McLaren that makes the impact and sets us up for the high octane thrills to come. In second place, we've got the incredible Delta Wing Showcase. Playground Games loves the car versus plane thing. We've seen similar events in Forza Horizon games previously, and this one was special. Racing the Aston Martin Vulcan against a plane that looks remarkably similar to the Vulcan Bomber through rural Britain just makes sense. This showcase event was a tough one, as the Aston Martin had plenty of speed, but incredibly twitchy handling. Meanwhile, the overhead plane rumbled across the landscape and made for some fantastic shots as the routes crossed over. Something about this showcase made for great replay value. So replayable in fact, we thought we'd share a couple of moments from it with you right now. Last up, we've got three starring the S Benz Drift Zone. On the route between the festival site and the Ambleside Village are two of the trickiest challenges in the game. The Ambleside Approach Speed Zone needs a perfect touch on the brakes at each of its corners to keep your average speed up, but the S Benz Drift Zone was on another level. The points target seems achievable, the corners look pretty straightforward, but somehow this little twist of tarmac is one of the most frustrating in the game. Heading downhill, we spun on entry, we slid wide on the exit, controllers were thrown and the game was declared to be just stupid. Then suddenly, a zen-like calm descended and the drift zone was beaten. Somehow, after achieving three stars the first time, nothing seemed so difficult after that. So, I've been Toby for Racing Games and that's been our three favourite moments from a look back on Forza Horizon 4. What were your favourite moments? Let us know down in the comments and be sure to stick around because we'll have plenty of Forza Horizon 5 content for you soon.